statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in today. Great to be with you. I always say that because I mean it. And, uh, Hope you're doing well today and making your way through the day and through uh, the idea of taking care of yourself in whatever ways you know how and whatever ways we may introduce on the show that you might want to consider adopting. You never know. And uh, we that's one of the agendas around here, one of the goals. And I... Look to my left and I see my producer with a hat on. I never see you wear a hat. What are you doing with that hat on? I just decided to wear it. What is, what's the emblem on the hat? Uh, it's a Simpsons hat and it's a uh, Duff beer. That's the beer in the uh, Simpsons cartoon. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you wear a hat with some nutritional? No, no. Wouldn't work. Pass. Yeah. Uh, it basically, I, I wore a hat today. Uh, one, because I recently found it, but also two, um, I, uh, washed my hair last night, and I don't like putting product in it, and I'd have to put stuff in it to make it look normal. So, I'm just so you're having with... a bad hair day, are no, you? No, I'm having I just I don't care day. So the hat goes on. <laughs> okay. And plus, we work in radio, so I can do this. Yeah, but I'm on TV, man. There's a camera here in front of me. <laughs> we need to get you on camera. People ask what they ask me what you look like. You know, they do. Okay. They want to know what you look like, and you don't. Yeah, you, I'll not... pass. You okay? <laughs> camera shy that's Stephen Armstrong he's my producer for the audio portion of the show he's been with me for 11 years and uh, we try to have a sense of humor about all of this you know if you listen to the show you can tell but I take this quite and you also know I take this very very seriously but my the way I'm sort of wired and put together uh, I'll find the humor in anything. <laughs> and you, I, I just believe you have to have a sense of humor. And despite how difficult it can get and all the things that can happen with people's health, somehow, some way. Yeah. And by the way, the show's 11 years old this month on May the 5th. Well, we went on the air 11 years ago, 2005. Why am I walked into this very studio? Looks a lot different now, though. And we're doing a lot of different things, too, that we never did before. We stream the show. We have podcasts. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. You know, we're connected. And terrestrial radio is alive and well, you know, in case you didn't know. People thought, oh, it was going to go. It's going to die, all this technology. Uh -uh. Still 93% of people you know, listen to radio. It's amazing. That hasn't changed in decades. It's remarkable. Dr. Marita Show, S-C-H-A-U-C-H, -H, will be on the show, S-H-O-W, today. And uh, Josh is here. I can never say to you, are you having a bad hair day? You have no damn hair. Nope. <laughs> I eliminated that problem your hair, swiftly. Your hair free. Yes, I am a PC you. That's right. I'm being PC. I didn't say you were bald. Nope. You're hair free. I don't care if you call me bald. I, it doesn't bother me. I'm just, I'm messing with you. You got a lot of hair on your face, though. Yes. Um, do you eat 
at uh, Josh, do you eat at? Uh, and I'll ask Stephen this: Do you eat at fast food restaurants? Every once in a while, Stephen. I, I, Every once in a while, once yeah. In, do you eat at? Do you know what a casual restaurant is? Fast casual. Uh, I mean, I. Guess, okay, yeah, I'll and, give you an example: uh, Chipotle, Panera Bread. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. One of those where you, do you eat there? Um, I would say about the same frequency as fast not, food. Not too often. Yeah. Josh? Yeah, about the same. Let me ask you this. Without knowing the, the research, Stephen, do you think the fast casual restaurants are healthier than the fast food restaurants? Um, I would say people think that they are, and for the most part they, they are, but there's a lot of uh, menu items that are just as bad, if not worse. What do you think? Uh, I would have to agree with Steve. I would well, say no. I don't think it's any different. Well, you're both pretty smart. There's a study coming out of, that's why I ask you guys. You see, you guys, who needs to do the studies? I should just ask you folks, right? Just ask you two guys and you guys. We'll but, try not to sink the ship. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> coming out of, don't do that, out of the University of South Carolina. A lot of people on a diet in this country. Oh, yeah. 68% is overweight or obese. You, you bet there are a lot of people on a diet. So they're looking for places to eat that are a little healthier. They want to cut their calories. I'm good with that. I'm all down with that. I love that. And so they believe it's best to pick a fast, casual restaurant. Like a, I'm not picking any or picking on anybody here. A Chipotle or Panera Bread compared to a McDonald's or Bojangles. Bojangles. I've never been in a Bojangles. Nevertheless, um, they pick the fast casual because they think the fast casual in the is healthier, maybe less calories for, in the food. Well, according to researchers from the Arnold School of Public Health, the entrees at fast casual restaurants have a higher average calorie count. <laughs> <laughs> than fast food establishments such as McDonald's or Bojangles. Just what I, you know, just what you two fellows said. You were right on the money. And I don't talk to them coming on air. I, they don't have a clue as to what I'm going to say. Yeah, I, I would agree with that because I almost thought we were going to go into the hair club thing again. No. The way it started out. Go get some transplants. Um, get some micros. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear a hat. Wear a hat. So that's the deal. If you're on a diet and you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to that fast food restaurant. I'll go to the fast casual. Beware. Read the menu. Read the menu. menu. This study appeared in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. <laughs> they looked at the menus at 34 fast food and 28 fast casual restaurants finding that fast food entrees the fast food from the fast food restaurants had an average of 760 calories per entree compared to 561 uh, for fast food entrees for fast food entrees hmm. a greater they said a greater proportion of fast casual restaurants exceed the median 640 calories per entree oh my Researcher Dr. Scoffman said, he was the lead researcher, Dr. Scoffman said, we were surprised that there were higher calories at fast casual restaurants. But one of the main takeaways from the paper is that there are a lot of high calorie options at both kinds of restaurants, close quotes. You have to read the menu. Many of these restaurants now are putting the calorie counts on the menu. Now, my take on this is that unless you're, if you're not dieting and you walk into a, a McDonald's, Burger King, any Bojangles, whatever, and you're not dieting, you don't care how many calories are on that menu. That's what I'm thinking. You went in there to get the fries and the burger and the milkshake and the pie. Right, Josh? And so, so. Who, who's counting here? But if you're on a diet and you are counting calories, I think you need to be calorie conscious when you're trying to lose weight. 
you, you're going to have to do a little bit of math. I don't want to say you have to be, you know, a statistician here, but you're going to have to keep track of the calories a little bit. As I always say, things are not what they seem. <clears throat> You've heard the old saying, you are what you eat. Well, turns out uh, it, that there's more to that than I thought. And, I'm sh and I keep saying nutrition is the first principle of health. When I come back, I'm going to share an interesting story with you study and story how nutrition affects how certain species of animals look feel tired lethargic or irritable take solace you're one of millions of americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep in fact according to a national survey 54 percent of adults have trouble sleeping so what can you do about it take solace solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally formulated with all natural ingredients solace is not addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning take solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid for more information on solace call toll free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com that's 877-533-7066 or take S-O-L-U-S dot com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. If you've ever had digestive issues slow you down, it's time to live digestively with the number one high-potency probiotic, Ultimate Flora. Because with 50 billion live cultures inside you, life feels a little lighter, a little livelier, a little more you. No matter where life takes you, live digestively with Ultimate Flora Probiotics from Renew Life. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Number one probiotic brand with 15 billion or more cultures based on annual sales. How can a sweet little fruit gummy help you live digestively? Ultimate Flora Probiotic Gummies put the ultimate natural digestive support to work inside you to help you feel a little lighter, a little more you. And if raspberry lemonade's a little more you, feel bubbly in a good way with Ultimate Flora Probiotic Fizzy Drink Mix. Ultimate Flora Probiotic Gummies and Fizzy Drink Mix, two great ways to live digestively, deliciously. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Is your skin showing signs of aging? Do you want hair with more body and stronger nails? Add NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C to your daily routine to help you regain your youthful, vibrant appearance. Collagen is the body's key structural protein, and it is critical to the elasticity and strength of connective tissues like skin, ligaments, and tendons. Recent clinical studies suggest that supplementing with collagen may reduce wrinkles and increase the firmness of your skin, improve the thickness of your hair, and strengthen your nails. Previously, medical studies also show a wide range of benefits from collagen supplements that may help with your joint pain, bone strength, and exercise recovery. NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C provides 100% pure collagen that's hydrolyzed for maximum absorption. Results are felt and seen within weeks. Super Collagen Plus C promotes a healthy body by providing specialized nutritional support to help fight the effects of aging. NeoCell's Super Collagen Plus C products are available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Nubian Heritage, Global Healing, Modern Wellness, VSN, Finish First, Nordic Naturals, Pure and Great Tasting Omega Oils, Jaro Formulas, Superior Nutrition and Formulation, Natural Factors, Where Great Health Begins, Kyolic, Aging Makes the Finest Garlic Truly Odorless, A. Vogel, Europe's Leading Brand of Herbal Medicine. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Dr. Marita's show will be on the show. She'll be along in a little bit. So you are what you eat, huh? Well, maybe more than we thought. This is unbelievable. Now, let me set this up for you a little bit. As it turns out, in the world of science, whether it's with nutrition or biology or whatever, oftentimes when we're trying to find out about humans, we t scientists will examine, study, experiment with, whatever, observe other species of animals. Okay? This is not uncommon. And we great, gain great insight into sometimes human biology, anatomy, nutrition, or whatever, based upon our observations, experiments with, and study of other species of animals. This is what happened in this case. And they were, they used um, what's called horned, horned beetles. They're of the genus Ontho, Onthophagus. And so these biologists at Indiana University, apparently now with this study, ha they said have advanced in a significant way our understanding of the genetic pathways that control the appearance of different physical traits in the same species, depending on what? Not necessarily the genes that they inherited from their mother and father, but from the nutritional conditions experienced during development. Again, I say, nutrition is the first principle of health. In many animals, again, as it turns out, nutrition, not the genetic differences, controls how the animal will look, the physical traits. Ants and bees, for example, and we're showing you an image, if you're watching, of the, these horned beetles. Keep that image up and not on me. Um, ants and bees grow into workers or queens based upon what? Genetics? Nope. Based upon the food eaten as larvae. What? But the exact genetic mechanisms that connect <clears throat> an individual's development, developmental fate, in other words, how they will look to nutritional conditions, is really an open, almost like an open arena. We ha they haven't, it needs so much more development and exp exploration. Now, in these experiments using horned beetles, these Indiana University biologists, uh, there are two of them, Armin Mozek and uh, uh, Kijimoto, I can't pronounce the first name, have pinpointed the genetic pathways that control these kinds of <clears throat> developmental decisions that happen. And so, Dr. Mozek, a professor in the IU Bloomington College of Arts and Sciences Department of Biology said, quote, for the first time, we have found a set of mechanisms that actively inhibit or promote the production of specific traits in the same species during development based upon precise nutritional conditions, close quote. What we're showing you is an image of these horned beetles. The one on the right of your, of your screen has a horn. The one on the left doesn't. Why? Because they were fed as larvae, they were fed different nutrition. 
That's unbelievable. Now, mark my words, that this area, this arena of research and the different lines of research within it is going to, some at some point, lead us to humans, and we always have believed that it has been solely genetic as to how we look. And certainly genes play, are huge in that. <laughs> you don't have to be a biologist or a geneticist to know that, that genes affect how we look, the genes that we inherit from our mother and father. But these kinds of studies are now suggesting it's not just the total uh, effect of genes that causes you how you look, causes you to be how you look, but it could be the nutrition that you're fed in development while you're in utero. And I've said this before. Yes. And, there, and this is sometimes called epigenetics. This is, this is big stuff. Because <laughs> nutrition. You know, unfortunately, when pe most people think about nutrition, they think about, well, don't want to gain weight, don't want to, you know, want to lose weight, don't want to gain. They think about weight. They think about certain obvious things. But if you knew that if we gain a body of, of, of understanding from science, that what the, and we already have developed a large, I mean, there's a, there's a big corpus of work on this. We know that what the mother eats during pregnancy has, has these epigenetic effects. But if you knew it was going to even affect how the baby will look once born, how the fetus will look once born, man, This is, I, I don't know, I, it sort of excites me. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than solace an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit TakeSolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Alga Life, Algae for Life, NeoCell, the true science of collagen, CV Sciences, from seed to shelf, Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace, now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, wherever and however you may be listening to the show and whatever, or watching it for that matter, and whatever you may be doing. We are coast to coast, including Hawaii, so please check your local listings for the time of broadcast. It's different, different markets, and that's okay. It's all good. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter. We're around. Dr. Marita Show is my guest today. Dr. Show is an educator for natural factors. What do you look at me like that for? I make a mistake? I got the right guest. What are you talking about? No, I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> I looked over and you were looking at me. I was just looking back, man. No. Nah, it's all good. I thought I missed something. No. Nope. You're you're on the money. And uh, Dr. Show is a regular guest on Let's Talk Nutrition for good reason. We don't put just anybody on here, you know. You got At least they have to know what they're talking about. <laughs> at least that. And she's much more than that. She makes for a good guest. Dr. Show, welcome, ba welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. It's great to have you on today. Morning. Thank you. Thank God it's you. If it would have been somebody else, I would be f <laughs> cosmically embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know the routine around here, so check this out. <laughs> okay. What 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 I'm for those of you who are new to the show, what I often do with guests is they don't know what I'm going to ask them and then I I'll share something with them that I either reported on or I'll spring something on them that has nothing to do with what they want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> that's pr that, that's pretty rude, isn't it? <laughs> but I know you'll be interested in this. These researchers uh, from um, at, at uh, biologists at Indiana University did some experiments. And before you roll your eyes and say, "What's he, why is he telling me this?" They did some experiments with. Uh, a specific beetle species, and it's uh, Onthophagus taurus. Turns out they're, in, the, in, in everyday parlance, they're called horned beetles, okay? And if, you're, if you go to your computer, Dr. Show, and type in letstalknutrition.com, you can see that we stream the show, and you'll see an image of the uh, press release and in that press release, they show an image of two horn, two beetles, horn beetles. One has a horn, the other one does not. So how did that happen? Is one a male and one a female? No. They're both males, as it turns out. And what they found out, Dr. Show, in the study is that Depending on what these beetles are fed as larvae will determine how they look and how they develop. And this, this, it's what's called, in the, in the world of biology, it's called developmental thresholds. And they're interested in that because these developmental thresholds allow scientists to, to uh, or allow the organisms to produce different traits in response to environmental conditions. One of those environmental conditions is what they're fed. In the case of these beetles, this includes the development of aggressive horned males under high nutrition who must fight for access to mates. And, and uh, then there's hornless, what they call sneaker males, under low nutrition who mate by stealth because they don't have the ability to fight. And the males that are under high nutrition as larvae develop this horn, which gives them an advantage to fight for the females. 
The ones that don't have the horn have to sneak around, so to speak. Now, as I pointed out to the audience, to the listener and the viewer of the show, oftentimes we learn a lot about human development and human behavior and a lot of things about humans, physiologically, anatomically, and so on, by studying other animals, other species, and doing experiments with them. We know that epigenetically, what the mother eats during pregnancy will affect the sequencing of genes in the fetus and then in the child once born. We know that already. But this study is pointing out it even changes physical appearance of offspring. Your thoughts. <laughs> you know what? I find um, I find actually that really, really fascinating. But, um, I mean, you bring up a really good point, you know, when we compare it to the human population because, you know, when, like you were saying, when women are pregnant, that's, you know, usually in the first trimester is when, you know, they tell you that, you know, nutritionally there's certain things that you really want to make sure you're getting in your diet, so vitamins and minerals, because the first trimester is, you know, quite important as far as, like, you know, sort of setting the foundation for, for you know, the baby and things like that. Um, but it makes sense. I mean, it makes sense regarding you know, what we're being exposed to, even like not in the womb, but, you know, as children or as babies, um, you know, there's a lot of talk now, and I know we've talked about it um, on various occasions about, you know, how, um, you know, our environment and how, to like, to environmental toxins, um, you know, have a huge impact on the human body and on the immune, immune system and on our hormones and, you um, you know, so it makes sense that, you know, evolutionally, like these beetles, depending on what they're being fed or exposed to, develop these specific defenses um, based on their environment to, to help them um, develop or, or help them thrive, right? Right. And what we know from human studies, epigenetically, epi meaning above genetics, epi is a prefix meaning above. We know that what the mother eats during pregnancy could predispose a child to become obese. We know mm -hmm. this. And may even predispose the child to have certain food preferences. What this study is yeah. suggesting is that what the, what the mother eats during pregnancy, what these larvae were fed during their, during their development as larvae, changed the way they looked. That's what I'm getting at. In other words, could you be taller? Could you be shorter? Could you be more muscular? Could you be, uh, in other words, developing, having certain physical features that you would, ha would not otherwise have if but for the food you were fed? I mean, got to think about that for a second. I mean, that, that rocks my, that rocks my, my mind in a, in a good way. I love that. I keep <laughs> saying, I keep saying, Dr. Show, nutrition is the first principle of health. Come back, I'll give you a, a more opportunity to think about this and talk about it. I, I know you have a keen interest in this. Everyone's raving about the newest botanical superstar hitting the store shelves nationwide. Hemp-derived cannabidiol, or CBD, has been receiving a lot of attention for its tremendous promise on human health. Plus, CBD Oil by CV Sciences is the trusted brand setting the standards in this newly emerging category of plant-based extracts, offering a variety of hemp-derived CBD oil products that you can count on. In order to make the highest quality CBD oil products available, it is important to manage every step of the supply chain process, from seed to shelf. That's why, from harvesting our EU-certified hemp seeds, to laboratory testing for quality and safety, to producing our exceptional line of products, we are committed to going the extra mile. It is our commitment to you. Join the CBD evolution. Ask your local natural health retailer about Plus CBD oil products by CV Sciences today. Follow us on Facebook and learn more at pluscbdoil.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Murray with a minute of important health news. One of my all-time favorite natural products is a special extract of licorice known as DGL. 
DGL is short for deglycerizinated licorice, but I tell my patients that it stands for darn good licorice. DGL is made by removing the compound in licorice that can raise blood pressure in some people. Double-blind clinical studies have shown DGL is quite useful in healing stomach and intestinal ulcers. In fact, in head-to-head -head studies, it has actually outperformed popular anti-ulcer drugs. But rather than inhibit the release of stomach acid, DGL stimulates the normal defense mechanisms that prevent ulcer formation and promote healing. Clinical studies have not only shown DGL to be extremely effective, but also that it is completely without side effects. Clearly, DGL is a better choice. Are you suffering from those awful allergies? Hay fever, sneezing, watery eyes. Here's some advice you won't want to miss. I'm a doctor, and my patients used to dread allergy season. But then I discovered A. Bogle Allergy Relief, a unique combination of natural ingredients that usually addresses every one of my patients' symptoms. And while it's clear that the vast majority of my patients benefit significantly from a vocal allergy relief, what's even more amazing is that after using it, at least half of my patients' symptoms didn't return. As a doctor, that's the kind of outcome my patients and I can appreciate. Get doctor-recommended a vocal allergy relief for your allergy symptoms. It's proven safe, it doesn't make you drowsy, it's fast-acting, and it may even help prevent your allergies from returning. Available at Vitamin Discount Centers, Richards, Rollin' Oats, Vitamin Shop, Nutrition Smart, and other fine health food stores. Energy, energy, and more energy. Everyone needs it. But did you know you can get the energy you need quick through the powers of wild forest extracts? Wild chaga and birch bark were a secret source of energy and power for Russian athletes years ago, making them unbeatable. Now you too can experience real energy and power like you never dreamed possible. Wild chaga is the world's top source of SOD, superoxide dismutase, that critical enzyme that blocks the aging process and keeps your cells healthy. Wild birch extract is the world's top source of betulin, a natural sterile needed by every cell of the body and healthy cells mean a healthy you and a more powerful one too chaga birch bark is also good for your heart healthy cholesterol and even helps build healthy arteries no wonder it's known as the king of all herbs so take your chaga charge tea with wild birch bark every day and chaga max capsules from north american herb and spice and get that maximum energy you need also available in liquid as chago power drops these statements have not been evaluated by the food and drug administration these products are not intended to diagnose treat cure or prevent any disease did you know that the most common form of calcium supplement today is calcium carbonate, also known as limestone? You don't eat rocks as part of your balanced diet, so why would you choose to supplement your bone health nutritional needs with limestone? Our bodies understand and seek whole food sources of nutrition. New Chapter is proud to deliver Bone Strength Take Care, a calcium complex that delivers key bone health nutrients in the form of whole food, not rocks. Bone Strength Take Care also delivers key bone nourishing nutrients, including vitamins D3 and K2. Vitamin K2 is of critical importance as it ensures calcium is placed in the bone where it's needed and stays out of the arteries where it's not. Discover for yourself the whole food bone health alternative to rocks. Bone Strength Take Care, the best selling natural bone health supplement in America. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Now Foods. Our products work. American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Renew Life, the digestive care company. Country Life, a leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. Enzyme Medica, the enzyme experts. Nutrix Hawaii, more nutrition, better health, purely Hawaiian. North American Urban Spice, the only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. You are what you eat. Boy, this new piece of research, and there's other studies like it, suggests that you are what you eat. You'll look like what you eat. My God. <laughs> According to this study, you're going to look like what you eat or what your mother ate during her pregnancy. Wait. My God. This is right in uh, Dr. Show's wheelhouse because she has a, big, uh, a, a profound interest in women's health. Dr. Show, welcome back. I gave you some time to think about this. I didn't... You know I do that. I spring stuff on you, and I, 
and so you had some commercial time to think about it. Uh, any, I know, and, 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 interesting. <laughs> and, any other things? <laughs> I'm, I am so impressed with that. I mean, it changed the way the Beatles looked. I, mean, I know. It's pretty crazy, actually. Man, food is food is something, isn't it? But that's, you know, as an, as a naturopathic doctor, that's, you know, that's my, that's the foundation is food and nutrition. And, you know, that's the first thing I tell my patients. But it's also the hardest and the most challenging thing for people to change, right? But I think, you know, we sort of underestimate the role that that food has for health or development. Um, and, you know, our food, it, it's changed over the years, too, right? Like, there's a lot of chemicals now that we're being exposed to, different pesticides that they're now using, or food colorings, or flavorings. So, you know, the, the nature of our food and nutrition has changed dramatically. Um, but it is, it's, it's a, I find it's, it is a challenge in my practice to really convey that message because, you know, a lot of times people are used to eating certain things or they're used to having their routine or, you know, I also see it quite an, an older population and, you know, often they'll come in and they'll say, well, you know, how is it that what I've been eating for the next 50 years is now bad for me? Right. So, but things, things change. Because what you ate for the last 50 years got you into the condition that you're in. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I've, when, in my life experience, as, you know, as a layperson, but also as a researcher and, and a person interested in these matters, I find that the, most, the more common something is among people, the more familiar they are with it the more difficult it is to change it. Mm -hmm. Food being one of them, what people eat. People know a lot about food <clears throat> just from their experience of eating it. And it's, I mean, what is more common than food? But it presents, as you just alluded to, among the most difficult challenges is to change people's relationship with food, what they eat, when they eat, where they eat, why they eat, with whom they eat, and so on. Amazing to me. You struggle with that. You know, a lot of naturopaths come on this show. They won't say that. They won't, oh, well, we have that figured out. What we do is, you know, you said, it's tough. You know, I don't know what your success rate is. I know what the, I know what the failure rate is in people losing weight. It's pretty abysmal. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's why it's, it's really like, I don't have an all or nothing approach. You know, I don't have somebody come in and say, okay, we're going to cut out, you know, alcohol and coffee and dairy and wheat and sugar. <laughs> um, because that's just not sustainable and it's not realistic for somebody who's used to eating all those things. So, you know, I really, depending on, you know, the case and depending on, um, you know, my patients, you know, their personality as well, I kind of, I kind of meet them where they are and I give them options, but we also, you know, we start with doing s small changes because I feel like small changes are a lot more sustainable. What is, what is, the, what is one of the most frequent small changes you ask your patients to do nutritionally speaking? Um, eat breakfast. <laughs> really? You, you recommend that more often than not? Yeah, well, because there's so many people that skip breakfast. Hmm. Right? Or they, they don't eat, or they'll drink, you know, five cups of coffee first thing in the morning, and they don't eat their first meal till like, one or two in the afternoon. What's the second most frequent thing you tell patients to do to change their relationship with food? Um, protein to eat more protein. Third thing. Um, water. <laughs> Fourth thing. Um, cutting out the refined sugar. That now we're now we're in trouble. This is where yeah. it gets tough, doesn't it? <laughs> we when we get to number four, now we're in now we're in it, aren't we? <laughs> this is where things get difficult because we crave sugar so much, don't we? Yeah. What do you do about that? How do you tell them? How do you start to reduce their consumption or intake or eating of refined processed foods that are high 
let me give you the trio: salt, sugar, and fat. Let's t- let's just deal with all, all at once now. What do you how how do you go about that? You just tell them to eat less. I don't know if that works. No, I you know I give them a lot. I have a lot of tools like resources, recipes, cookbooks, um, websites that I like to send people to. And um, because I think the more information and options they have, like to tell somebody just to say, oh, you just need to cut out sugar, but not give them like the right guidance. I mean, that's sort of a setup for failure, I think. (laughs) So with a lot of my patients, um, one of the first things I do is I'll just say, okay, you know, this is what you want to look for um, when you're looking at labels, right? Because there's so many hidden sugars that people aren't aware about, you know, salad dressings barbecue sauce, yogurt, ketchup, um, you know, if they're drinking juice every day. So, you know, I try to identify maybe some of those those areas, like the obvious ones, and just say, okay, well, if you're having three glasses of orange juice, you know, could you go down to one glass or dilute it half and half? Or, you know, if you're having flavored yogurt every morning, you know, why don't you get some fresh fruit and get plain yogurt? And add that instead of, you know, the, the sugar syrups that are found in a lot of the flavor, flavored mm-hmm. yogurts. So just small little steps Small like that little se- go, seemingly go a long way. Mm-hmm. Seemingly insignificant, but have you had a few patients that really have transformed their relationship with food? You know what? I have, I have one case, and I'm so proud of her. This is a woman that when she first came to see me was... And she, you have to know, like, she came from a fairly, um, a fairly stressful upbringing, um, not a great relationship with parents, some multiple traumas. She came to see me at her heaviest weight. She was over 300 pounds. All right, save the rest, like, of, the, save the rest of the story yeah. when we come back. Because <laughs> we like to hear about success stories. So Dr. Show had a patient, 300 pounds. You can, over 300, you can imagine what her relationship with food was like. Hmm. Very hard to get a divorce from food. It's easier to get a divorce from marriage. Getting a divorce from certain foods, tough stuff. We'll see what Dr. Show has to tell us more. And then she has some other things on her mind. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition, coast to coast.
statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Great to be with you. Thanks for tuning in today. And my guest is Dr. Marita show carried over from the first portion of the show. And I was um, sharing with Dr. Show this new study. It was an experiment of all things with horned beetles. And you're saying, well, now he's going to waste my time. Before you reach that conclusion, let me tell you what they found. And it, often researchers will do this. They will experiment, study, observe whatever method of science or technique or method they're using, it's different species of animals to, and help us understand what we are as humans. A long story short, in the experiment, the larvae of this particular species of beetle, and if you're interested in knowing what it is, is Onthophagus taurus, the male larvae were fed High nutrition, as they described it, and low nutrition, different larvae. The ones that were de fed the high nutrition, meaning a good nutrition, developed the horn. My producer will show an image of it on the screen. Developed a horn. It's, they're called horn beetles. The one that was fed low nutrition did not. There you see the image. So it wasn't the genetics that determined whether the horn manifested itself ultimately as an adult, but what was the nutrition of the larvae during their development? As you could probably make the inferential leap and conclude, this may have great implications for humans. Well, it does. And we know that epigenetically what the mother consumes or eats during pregnancy does predispose a child, for example, toward obesity or certain other conditions. What's, what's key about this study is that it changed the nutrition, caused the, 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 beetle, the beetles to look differently, to have different developmental features. Think about that implication for humans. You get the point. Then that led us to talk, uh, getting Dr. Show to comment on this and how important nutrition is. And then led us to the story of her patient. I asked her, what are the, th she said that it was very difficult, it's very difficult to change uh, dietary habits. And I asked her, and what's the, what's the first small change that you recommend? The second, the third, and the fourth. And then I asked her, and she la laid those out. Then I asked her, have you ever had a patient that profoundly, changed his or her relationship with food, and that's where we are. Dr. Show, welcome back. So you had the patient. Thank you. Was she, how, roughly how old was she, is she? Um, she's in her early 50s. Okay, and she was over 300 pounds. So her relationship with food was pretty formidably sta established now. Yes. Go ahead, you tell yeah. the, go ahead and tell the story. Yeah, and I was mentioning that, you know, she kind of had... Um, that laid out sort of early on because she came, you know, she had a lot of trauma as a child um, growing up with like a bipolar mother and um, some other things had happened. And so for her, food was, 
you know, helped her with her emotional well-being and stress. And, and so when she came in, um, and, you know, in my clinical practice, I have um, a whole bunch of different practitioners that I worked with very closely. Like I've got counselors and Cairo and physio and acupuncture. And so what we did is she actually started seeing um, a, a team of us, so myself and seeing the counselor once a week and because there's quite a mental, emotional component there. And she was in quite a lot of pain because of her weight, weight. so she started working with one of our physiotherapists and the chiropractor, and they started getting a, an exercise program, um, you know, very, very gentle, easy exercise program started. But when she started shifting her whole... Um, relationship with food and you know we gave her a lot of different tools and recipes and we started very very simple and she's also on metformin which is a medication for diabetes so right. she had been you know she was labeled as diabetic and high cholesterol and high blood pressure so all these things and now I'd probably say we've been working with her it's been a couple of months and we're now working with her medical doctor which is very exciting but um, she's managed to get off of her metformin and she's at the lowest weight that she's ever been. What is she? 250? Yeah. And, um, she Good just guess completed a race. Like, a we have a, a local community race. Um, it's, it's 10 kilometers. So I think that's six miles, 6.1 miles. And, um, she, she did it last year and she almost, you know, she almost didn't make it, and she had a, a week after where she was, like, bedridden. But this time, she did it, no problem. Beat her last time. Um, she walked it, but still, that's amazing. I don't care if she crawled. And, I don't care if she, she, and she crawled. Day, it was like it, <laughs> it, didn't even, it didn't even phase her. She's like, no, I felt great the next day. I wasn't sore. My knees didn't hurt. My hips didn't hurt. So right. she's just, she's on a roll. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's such an amazing transformation that she's had so what was the one key the first thing that you introduced to her i didn't mean to interrupt you um, yeah that's okay apologize what was one (laughs) of the what was one of the first things you you suggested to her nutritionally in terms of nutrition and food for her to change she had this big relationship she loved ketchup ketchup yeah she put ketchup on everything (laughs) so i but I don't think she realized the, you know, how much sugar is in ketchup. All right. So what did you do? Tell her to cut down? So I just said, can you cut down on your ketchup consumption? And you know what she did that day is she she, <laughs> she squeezed all the ketchup out of her, her, bo- her um, bottles down the garburetor of her sink. Just got rid of all of it. She did cold turkey. What was the second? Yeah, what like, was the second nutritional? The house, I won't have it. What was the second nutritional change you instituted with her? So the second nutritional change was just um, so she ha- she would have this thing where if she was having a really bad day, um, she would stop at you know Kentucky Fried Chicken or McDonald's or whatever on her way home. So I said because it's been like the weather's been really really nice the last few months. I said, well, why don't you stop by the park? You know, or stop by the grocery store and get, you know, fruit salad or um, so I tried to kind of instill different patterns for her. I see. So that she wouldn't automatically be going <clears throat> to, you know, the uh, most unhealthiest choice. So what you just said um, to me would suggest to me psychologically and emotionally speaking that her relationship with food was such that when she was in a dark period, a down period, depressed or whatnot, the nature of that relationship would be for her to comfort herself by going yeah. to KFC or one of these other fast food places and co- find some sort of psychological comfort through nutritional comfort. So that was part of yeah. her, her part of her dysfunctional relationship with food, yes? Exactly. So it was really trying to shift that and she was she was quite negative, like quite negative on herself. So you know, we as a team, we really tried to give her a lot of positive reinforcement. Oh, that's wonderful. And really, yeah, and really just shift that. And now, I mean, she does it on her own, and she'll catch herself when she is putting herself down. And yeah. she'll say, no, you well, know, that. Yeah. I mean, I mean Dr. Show, she's not, she's not unusual. That's why I get mm-hmm. so 
frustrated with healthcare professionals say, well, you know, you're fat because you don't have any willpower. I've heard people say that. I've heard doctors, I've read doctors saying that, where it's their fault because they don't have any willpower. That is such crap. That is so in, insensitive, unempathetic, so wrong-headed. Can you imagine what she looked, what, what she, every time she, I don't even know if she even looked in the mirror, but when she did, what she saw was failure. That would depress anybody. She's been born again, man. In a real sense, not in a, maybe even in a spiritual sense. You changed her life, Dr. Show. Be back.
Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for listening to the show and watching it. If you're watching it at letstalknutrition.com, we stream. And uh, Dr. Marita's show is my guest, and she was just, for a change, some good news, right, around here, telling us a story about one of her patients who's lost substantial amount of weight. She was 300 pounds. She's down to 250s, competed in a couple of long-distance running contests. She walked, but that's okay. Um, changing, her, changing her relationship with food slowly but surely. But you see, the, the patient is being encouraged, supported by her, her physician. It's very hard for people to do this alone. It's an exceptional person that can do it alone. It really is, take, it, it takes an effort, a team effort. Dr. Show, welcome back. Thank uh, you. Uh, I guess, you know, that makes it, it makes it all worth it for you when you have even just the one success like that, such as that. But I know you have others as well, but um, I know you specialize in women's health, but I know you're concerned about human health generally. You mentioned, um, you mentioned metformin. Turns out natural, and I know you know this, but Natural Factors has an, a product, a supplement, that does, according to some, even better than metformin, and that's berberine. Mm-hmm. I, do, I use berberine. It's a great, like the research that's coming out with berberine is actually quite impressive. Sh can you share a little bit of it? Or yeah, I mean, it's, it's now they're finding like a lot of the new research with berberine. Um, it's working very effective, almost as effective as metformin for blood sugar control, for helping to um, manage insulin levels and improve insulin um, sensitivity. And um, and then also to build on that for because diabetes obviously is strongly linked to heart disease, so there's also a lot of research that they've done with, you know, um, preventing heart disease and also for reducing um, LDL levels, so bad cholesterol and improving good cholesterol. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually one that I use quite often in my practice and. Um, Berberine also has um, a lot of antimicrobial properties. So as a bonus, it's great for blood sugar and, and, and heart disease prevention, but it also um, is a potent um, antimicrobial. So I use what, it What does that often. mean? What does that mean? So I use it quite often for um, people that have what we call dysbiosis in the gut. So if they have an overgrowth of um, bad bacteria, like bad bacteria that shouldn't be there. So say they have a lot of digestive distress or colitis or bloating or um, it helps to kill off the, the bad bacteria. So I use it with a lot of my um, gut repair restoring programs as well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Berberine. I, I, and I'm not, as far as I know, pre-diabetic or diabetic, but I take, I use berberine to keep my blood glucose and insulin levels in line. Well, probably it helps, helps a lot for you, like just as general health maintenance. Yes. It probably also helps with like just preve prevention yes. and um, it helps with craving, right? Okay. If your blood, blood sugars are stable. Um, I don't mean to take you off track, but this is, this is, you want to talk about women's health. I mean, we're getting at this, right? I mean, we're getting at it, right? I mean, you're not upset. Well, it's funny because my, my thought about the theme I wanted to focus on was um, because I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing some talks today and tomorrow for our Canadian Diabetes Foundation, so I'm <laughs> so I'm educating people about nutrition and blood sugars um, and weight loss. So I thought, oh, this is quite fitting that we just started talking about all this. So um, okay, you you mentioned <laughs> you mentioned prevention. A little yeah. there's a little alliteration there. Um, I am a fan of preparation and preparedness okay and what I'm getting at is this and I'd like your take on it it's fine well and good people prevent practice prevention because you don't want to get sick now you know your prevention sort of serves a short term it has some sort of long-term consequences it does I get that too but when I say we also need to not only pre 
practice prevention, but we need to practice preparedness. What I'm getting at is this. If you don't die of an accident, you're going to die of something. The parts, rarely will a person just die because the parts wear out. Usually it's some disease process that will take us out. And I say to people, and I've written about it and talked about it, you need to be prepared for that moment. You need to have built up enough inventory of health to cope with all that's going to happen, all the stress, all the ups and downs and ebb and flow of being sick. And you have to have that inventory. You have to be prepared. First, let me get your comment on that or your take. Yeah, I mean, I I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, just looking at, so for example, if we just go back to my patient, um, you know, when we, you know, we were talking about nutrition and things like that, but before we, we delved into all of that, I made sure that, you know, we checked some, some pretty vitally um, important hormonal systems, right? Like, because she had had a lot of, um, she was predisposed to a lot of stress at a very young age. Um, I checked, checked adrenal function and because that was playing a huge role with like her depression and her relationship with food and again not having those reserves there to cope with when she was feeling down or feeling sorry for herself Mm -hmm. and um big surprise like her adrenals needed a lot of support and in doing that bringing her reserves up you know yes all these she was you know diagnosed with diabetes and all these other health issues you know the body was actually able to and had the tool. We'll be right back. Looking for the perfect complement to your beauty regimen? Try Form Essentials Zinnia. The finest of its kind, Zinnia offers twice as much biotin as other formulas, which has proven to unlock the vibrancy in even the dullest of hair, skin, and nails. Zinnia breaks through and rejuvenates cells internally, helping you achieve the allure of effortless beauty. Reviving your hair, skin, and nails has never been easier. This essential blend of biotin, alpha-lipoic, and hyaluronic acid, collagen, and vitamin C creates lasting enhancements to your natural good looks. Don't go on wondering. You're worth the results. This combination of ingredients can only be found in Zinnia. Pamper yourself with a proven bit of affordable luxury and start looking your best. Ask for Zinnia by name at your nearest vitamin retailer to begin your journey to restored nails, head-turning hair, and radiant skin today. For more information, visit formessentials.com. When your alarm goes off, do you jump out of bed with excitement? Or does it take multiple alarms, a few snooze buttons, or a morning caffeine fix to get you going? These habits and daily stress cause a vicious cycle in which sleep becomes increasingly elusive. In fact, 54% of Americans report struggles to fall or stay asleep. For a better night's rest, look no further than solace an all-natural dietary supplement that supports healthy sleep and relaxation so you get the rest you need to wake up clear-eyed, alert, and ready for the day. Solace has given thousands a better night's rest and the power to take back their mornings while enjoying the day ahead of them. Solace is formulated with non-addictive, scientifically proven, all-natural ingredients that support sleep and relaxation, such as melatonin, tryptophan, and 5-HTP. For more information or to order Solace, visit TakeSolace.com. Solace, for healthy sleep naturally.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Alga Life, Algae for Life, NeoCell, the true science of collagen, CV Sciences, from seed to shelf, Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace, now introducing Zinnia for healthy hair, skin, and nails. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom, Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. <laughs> What's the matter? What? What are you laughing at? Uh, uh, well, I totally, you know, I'm used to you just jumping on the mic yeah. and talking, and uh -huh. it looked like you were about to do it, and you jumped up on the mic, and for the people watching the stream, you could see Doc check his watch, make a funny face, look up at the clock above the speaker that's above my head, and then go back to, welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. <laughs> I, I thought we were out of time. I, I'm thinking... I lost track of time because I got so wrapped up talking with Dr. Show. Oh, preparedness. Be prepared. Practice prevention. Practice preparedness. Dr. Show, welcome back. Thanks. Now, uh, not to take you too far afield. After World War I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where is this going? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not altogether insane. After World War I, there was a movement afoot in the United States. It was called the Preparedness Movement. And there were some, and it was opposed because the people in the United States, they were talking about being preparing the military. And, and so they had a Department of Preparedness. Theodore Roosevelt was, as we moved toward World War II, Theodore Roosevelt, um, I believe, uh, supported the program. And you have munitions factories and whatnot all over the place producing munitions for preparedness. And so there was the D Department of Preparedness. And I, I learned of this yesterday from one of my friends who had a watch from his grandfather on the back it was inscribed the date and it had dop on it and he said doc do you know what that means i said no he said department of preparedness i said what's that and that was a department i guess in the government where the country was needed to prepare in the event of war right to be prepared so i thought well, maybe Let's Talk Nutrition should have a DOP. <laughs> uh -huh. so, so we're going to now have on the show the Let's Talk Nutrition DOP, Department of Preparedness. And I'm going to do certain segments and talking about preparedness and preparing for that sector or that sector or that stage in the life cycle when you're a you know, things can really go wrong. Are you prepared? Do you have the inventory of health to cope and deal with what's going to happen to you? I don't know. I'm maybe pre in your mind, maybe you think prevention takes care of it, don't you? You think that? Well, I think they kind of go hand in hand, like prevention and preparedness. Don't you think? I think so. so you know, I was thinking about that, that, well, maybe prevention takes care of it. But preparedness sort of raises different issues, doesn't it? I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I did, I didn't, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm making much. Out, but I think department. We're going to have a department of preparedness around here now. I I like the idea. Be, you know what I learned as a Boy Scout. You know what the motto is for Boy Scouts, right? Remind me. <laughs> That's right. You're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared. <laughs> be prepared was the motto is the motto of the Boy Scouts. Be prepared. So I think we need to be prepared. That's what I think. But I think I think people are definitely thinking that way. I know for a lot of my patients that come in, um, you know, just in the last few months, I've had a lot of patients that have come in and said, you know, they haven't actually had a lot of like acute health issues going on, but they just want to make sure that they're doing everything that they can because there is a family history of, say, diabetes or a family history of, you know, arthritis. And 
they've seen their parents or grandparents struggle with their health and they don't want to be in that same boat. So they're coming in wanting to prevent or prepare so that their body is as strong as it can be. And these are people, you know, in their 30s or 40s or or even I've had even like younger patients in their 20s that are, you know, they have that kind of mentality, right? They're thinking in that way, which is really, which I think is really amazing to see. Because most often people don't go see their doctor unless something's already happened, right? They already have a health issue. Typically, just like they do with their automobiles. Yeah. Right? Brakes go to the mechanic. That's what. That's yeah. the, that's the nature of human nature. By the way, I said you're. I was being uh, ironic when I said you're a girl. I know you're a woman. I wasn't being sexist. I was trying to be make a point here. Boys. Be prepared, Boy Scout girls. Or I don't know what this girl, a Girl Scout motto was, but for boys it was be prepared. Maybe it's the same. Maybe somebody out there knows, but be prepared. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I think preparation, um, preparation is what can make an average person very, very smart and a very smart person a genius. Um, being prepared, prepare, prepare, prepare. Um, well, and that's why there's even some very simple, um, blood tests that, you know, I do, or even not even blood tests, but other tests that I do with a lot of my patients, um, for prevention or preparedness. So, you know, I mentioned before with my previous patient, you know, adrenal function is, is huge. You know, if you have your adrenal functioning, adrenal functioning, you know, 50 percent then that's going to make how would you know that how would you know that from a blood test sorry i should rephrase um saliva (laughs) okay Okay. so with like saliva saliva cortisol testing how how um, do you know so what do you get you have them do a saliva test and then you get the lab back what do you get well so i think we've talked about this before but naturally the body has this we call it the cortisol curve the normal natural cortisol curve. So naturally, cortisol, which is one of your stress hormones, is the highest in the morning, and then as the day progresses on, it's the lowest in the evening. But a lot of times, people that have had chronic stress or they have adrenal um, imbalances, their cortisol levels are um, don't look like that. They're either really, really low throughout the whole day or they're low in the morning, but then they ramp up at night or they just, they have a different pattern. And so doing the saliva cortisol testing, it gives us as naturopathic physicians, it gives us a really good look at, okay, well, you know, how much, how much support does this person need um, to get, you know, things leveled out and to get those reserves um, back. <clears throat> so you're, so that's, you really think that in terms of preparing the body to cope with what may happen down the road, you need to get your thyroid, your adrenals into shape. You you need to you yeah, need vitamin you, D. Like so many people are vitamin D deficient. Um, iron. Like there's all these. There's sort of like my protocol of things that I check for most of my patients. Uh huh. Okay. We'll come back. I have the LTN health question of the day. It'll deal with the the uh, concept of preparation. Exclusively from Natural Factors. I'm Dr. Michael Murray. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to talk with you about PGX, a truly revolutionary natural product that works perfectly to help get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult. PGX is a clinically proven way to help people to achieve their ideal body weight that is safe and natural. PGX leads to a dramatic reduction in the glycemic index of any food or meal. It also ultimately causes the release of compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, it's not your fault. You just need the tremendous support that PGX can provide. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, please go to pgx.com. Did you know that when it comes to supporting whole body health, there's an herbal supplement that may be as important as your daily multivitamin? Discover Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter. 
formulated to support a whole body healthy inflammation response an ongoing natural process and part of the body doing its job. We often think of the inflammation response as something we can feel, such as where there are sensitive nerve endings. But did you know that we can also have an inflammation response we can't feel? And whether we are aware of it or not, our inflammation response can affect the whole body. Zyflamen is a patented blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent turmeric, that help balance and support your body's natural, healthy inflammation response for overall health and wellness. And it's clinically tested. Discover the premier herbal supplement for whole body health from New Chapter, Zyflamend Whole Body. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Available at your local fine health food store. At Country Life Vitamins, we've been helping people live happy, healthy lives since 1971. And we believe integrity should always be our number one ingredient. We are committed to this belief because you deserve high-quality nutrition, specifically crafted with the highest standards to support your health. Country Life's manufacturing facility is an NSF GMP registered facility, as well as USDA certified organic, so you can feel good about the products you're taking. Country Life Vitamins is also the first supplement company in the United States to have a complete line of products certified gluten-free. That's over 500 products. Country Life Vitamins Pledge of Integrity is based on five standards, authenticity, cleanliness, freshness, consistency, and accuracy. Ask for Country Life's top-selling products, such as Coenzyme B Advanced for increased energy or Flex Able for joint health. Country Life Vitamins' commitment to ensure all of our products are pure, wholesome, gluten-free supplements, full of natural goodness, provides peace of mind with the knowledge you are using a brand you can trust. Are you waking up each day to the life you have to live or to the life you want to live? Better health shouldn't be left to chance. Smart choices to living longer and stronger include making Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract a part of your daily routine. For years, medical researchers have recommended adding Kyolic to the diet as a powerful tool to enhancing overall heart and immune health. Recent clinical studies at UCLA Medical Center using Kyolic suggest that garlic may slow plaque formation in the arteries and support healthy cholesterol and homocysteine levels. Previous research also shows Kyolic may enhance your immune system defenses. Kyolic is organic, odorless, and the only antioxidant garlic supplement available worldwide. Maintaining a healthier you could extend your life. Your wellness begins with Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract. Available everywhere fine nutritional supplements are sold. Visit Kyolic.com. That's K-Y-O-L-I-C.com. Or call 1-800-421-2998 for a free sample today. When you're passionate about your health, that passion leads to the knowledge that exercise and a healthy diet are not always enough. Sometimes you need the extra nutritional boost that only supplements can provide. If you are looking for the leading national brands of vitamins, supplements, health, and beauty, weight loss, or sports nutrition products, look no further than Vitamin Discount Center. Voted Best Independent Chain by Vitamin Retailer Magazine, Vitamin Discount Center has been a trusted and valuable nutrition resource to the Tampa Bay area for over 15 years. With daily savings up to 50%, Vitamin Vitamin Discount Center offers the best prices on the highest quality nutritional supplements. Not only will you find unbeatable value, your visit includes access to a staff educated on the application of products to help equip you with the products and information you need to proactively improve your health. To locate the store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com, as well as access to articles on popular health topics, promotions, events, and thousands of products to shop from right at home. Your search for an affordable solution to better health is finally over. Vitamin Discount Center. For life for less. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Now Foods. Our products work. American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Renew Life, the digestive care company. Country Life, a leader and authority in natural health and nutrition. Enzyme Medica, the enzyme experts. Nutrix Hawaii, more nutrition, better health, purely Hawaiian. North American Urban Spice, the only oregano oil you can take on a daily basis. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. And I have a LTN health question of the day to serve up. And the question deals with the concept of preparation. So there's this famous quote, and I'll give you the quote, and I'm giving you the quote exactly. Uh, I checked my work, and this is how it's most frequently reported. The quote is this. Luck 
is what happens when preparation meets opportunity, close quote. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Here's the question. Who said that? <laughs> a, Seneca, who was a, a Roman philosopher. B, Plato, Greek. Or C, Donald Trump. <laughs> I need to get a laugh from you, Josh. Uh, who said... Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. A, Seneca, B, Plato, or C, Donald Trump. 877-897-8255. 877-897-8255. If you can apply this lesson to your life, the implications, they would be huge. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Dr. Shaw, welcome back. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're, uh, maybe you're not amused with all these goings on around here. <laughs> no, it's very entertaining. It's, is it? It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. Everybody do the wave now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you said some important things here. It seems to me that you believe that the adrenals your adrenal glands, and your thyroid. Uh, how many people got up this morning, put their feet on the floor and say, oh, hell, my adrenals and my thyroid. I forgot all about those. <laughs> Probably doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't know who those two people are. You and whoever that other person is, I don't know. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you you no, seem I think, to th I think we take we take it for granted, right? We take it for granted that our bodies are working really well and that, you know, and it's, and I mean, it's good to think like in a positive manner like that, but, you know, I think it's also important to, you know, see your general practitioner at least once a year and get, you know, an annual physical and check all your levels. And again, it's back to prevention and preparedness, right? What, what should the, what should the patient ask the doctor? What tests should the, the patient request for, thyroid and for adrenals what would be some tests that should be asked to have done well the adrenals <clears throat> would be cortisol levels um saliva cortisol is ideal for thyroid thyroid panel so you know your tsh your t4 t3 and your thyroid antibodies um i always have my patients check their blood sugars so you know fasting blood sugars and hemoglobin a1c are very important um, I also ch have patients check their inflammatory markers, so like a C-reactive protein, homocysteine. I think I mentioned vitamin D levels, vitamin um, or uh, iron levels, vitamin B12 also. Mm. So those are some of the basics that, you know, most medical doctors will test. How many patients do you think ask a doctor, please check my thyroid and my adrenals and do, uh, do a panel on, and do the proper test for these two, uh, these two uh, organs, yes? Um, you know what? I think there are, I think, well, I think it's more if people are feeling not very well, they'll often ask those questions. But from a preventative standpoint, um, I don't think it very often. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, if you're feeling fatigued or you can't lose weight or you're not sleeping or you're feeling, you know, depressed or anxious, yeah. you know, most often you know, people will do their research or they'll go on Google and they'll and figure they'll it out. See, oh, well, maybe these things need to be tested, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Janet. Uh, where is she calling from, Stephen? Where is that? Stephen's, we've never had a call from there, have we? No. Stephen's Point, Wisconsin. Janet, welcome to the show. Congratulations. You're the first person to call from Stephen's Point, Wisconsin. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you doing today? Doing great. The weather should be pretty good up there now, right? Well, it might hit 70 today, we're hoping. Oh, that's a good day. Yes, it is. No blizzards, no ice storms. <laughs> well, it's going to get pretty cool this weekend, though. Oh, it is. It's the calm before the storm, I were mean you, the cold. Were you born and raised up in that neck of the woods? Yes, I was. 
And Stevens Point, where's Stevens Point? Um, it's central, the middle of the state. Middle of the state. And that's where you grew up. That what's the what's the in that area, what's the primary industry and whatnot? Uh, we have a lot of potato farmers. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Okay. We have the UWSB in Stevens Point. What is that? University of Wisconsin. Oh, the univer- Oh, sorry. A f- famous university. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, great. Um, how did you come upon the show, if I may ask? Um, I don't... I, you were fooling around I, with the radio one day? <laughs> yeah, fooling around with the radio, and I like to listen to Wisconsin Rapids, because we're close to Wisconsin Rapids. Yeah. It's a talk radio, and, and I listen just about every day. Well, thank you so much. So, who said... Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Seneca, Plato, or Donald Trump? Seneca. Se- I don't know how you knew that. Boy, that's great. Congratulations. Not many people would know that. You know what? It was a lucky guess. It was Seneca. And the high school I went to was Seneca. And I always that's in the back of my head all the time. So I love that quote. Luck, is, luck happens when preparation meets opportunity. That is so true. She's pretty smart because my false hint didn't work. No, it didn't. So there you go. Congratulations. Thank you so much for listening to the show. I appreciate you lis- your listenership, uh, Janet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Congratulations. Dr. Show, thank you. Thank you, too. Um, you're a great guest. You don't – you go with the flow, and we talked about important things amidst all of the other – how should we say – Accessories? <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're so rhetorically sensitive. You are. <laughs> Natural Factors. Go to their website. Great company. Get their thyroid and adrenal products. They're wonderful. Your health is your wealth. 